Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, chairs, the different types of chairs, the different styles of chairs. Chairs are very important to any uh, design because they do add not only uh, another play, another seating area, but they also add some um, style. Uh, it will definitely dictate to the style. So if you're throwing a rustic chair and a contemporary chair, you can see where it changes the feel of the design. So they are very important. Uh, they're also important like if you want a big bulky chair, but you're going to move that chair around a lot, you may not want that. You may want something that's a little bit more slim and a little bit easier to work with. So um, there are different many types of chairs, styles, and there are different many types of uh, of of chairs out there that you kind of need to know what they are so this way it can help you decide what you want to get so we're going to talk first about the chair uh, types what kind of chairs there are out there um, so we're going to start off first with one of the most popular okay this is called the armchair it is the most popular it's very comfortable as you can see uh, comes in a variety of material styles and colors most of these chairs will come in a variety of, of different uh, materials and colors and sizes this is just giving you a basic idea but this is called the armchair okay next we have the slipper chair slipper chair came into focus because well, the armchair was nice, but the arms took up a lot of room. So this is an extra place to sit without taking up space. It's sleek and it's streamlined. You can see there are no arms. So it's a lot easier to get into a little bit tighter spaces. So these are, this is called a slipper chair, okay? So the next one I wanna talk about, and you're probably all very familiar about with this chair, this is called the side chair. It's one of the most versatile. It's a petite profile, as you can see. They don't have any arms, it's similar to slipper chair, but it can fit in anywhere. Most of the times you will see these chairs in dining room. Sometimes they have a little armrest there and sometimes they don't but really these are all uh, if they have more of a protruding armchair um it will actually be called an armchair but this is more a side chair you'll see this in the dining room okay the next one is called the barrel chair kind of got its name from the shape as you turn around on the back of the chair is shaped like a barrel hence the name barrel chair so uh this is actually a very comfortable chair it has clean slick line it's not overpowering chair so this is a really cute accent chair this one needs a lot of space this is a lounge chair uh you see this a lot in bedrooms or in a living room if you have the space um it's just what the name implies it's a nice place to lounge Comfort is the goal with lounge chairs, uh, but you must, and sometimes it has a place to rest your feet. Sometimes they don't, they'll have the whole lounge and then they'll, um, you can see the back here where it lounges, and then they'll have maybe an ottoman to go with it. But most of the time it does come with the footrest. You see this a lot in outdoor chairs by the pool, these lounge chairs. The next one I wanna talk about is a very classic wing back chair. Um, they are tall back and they have wing sides. See where they're winged? That hence the name, wing back chair. A lot of these names come from the style itself. Um, these are a staple to most designs. I see these a lot. They tend to be bulky and they tend to be formal. So if this is a chair that you're gonna move around a lot, if, you're not gonna want this particular, because it's heavy and it's bulky. So this may not be a good chair to move around a lot, but it is very pretty. That works really well with a lot of the designs out there. Okay, another one that's really popular is club chair. Now you look, the club chair is very similar to the armchair, but the difference between the club chair and the armchair is the seat is deeper than normal, right here. Um, it's deeper than normal. It's uh, It has high arms, these are the arms here, and it's very comfortable comfortable these are great for living room family room if you want to put it in your bedroom you certainly can but these are really great chairs these are called club chairs again very similar to armchair the next one i want to talk about is parson again very similar to side chairs a lot of these chairs are very similar to one another uh, but the Parsons has no arm. As you can see, it's it's a very simple, clean line. I love these chairs. I use these chairs a lot when I stage. 
uh, for the dining room. Most of the time, um, they 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 go anywhere, but they mostly um, they're great for dining room. They have a little bit more of a traditional look, but the goal of this chair was to strip it down to its basic essential, so that you can fit it anywhere, and it works really well as a dining room chair. Now, as slim as that particular chair is, this one is not. You need a lot of room for this. This is a Papa Sun chair. The frame is usually made out of wood. In this case, it's rattan. Um, the overall design is sort of like a dish. If you could see here, it's kind of round like a dish. It's extremely uh, comfortable. It was very popular in dorms because the kids love that. Uh, maybe not so much with families because once you get in, not so hard to get out of these chairs, but they are very, very comfortable chair. This one, very unusual shape. It's actually called a balloon chair, but most of the times I think people call them egg chairs due to the shape because they kind of look like an egg. Um, and what it's a very unique look. And sometimes um, you see this, this particular one has um, a little stand there. Sometimes you can hang them up. You can see them a lot with these um, balloon slash egg chairs when you're doing an outside furniture and they do sell them um, I know pair one sells them. It still has the stand, but the it, it actually hangs from here. And some of these, you could just hang them directly onto the ceiling. So this is kind of an unusual shape. The next one I want to talk about is the Chesterfield. Very similar to the Chesterfield uh, sofa. It's a very formal look. It's incredibly comfortable. And it looks good with any style. Usually has nail heads around the arm here. It doesn't always, but it's very, um, it's a very stylish sofa. It goes great with many, many different styles. So that is definitely the uh, chair types that are out there. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the style of the chair. Um, so with this one, okay, you can see this is a modern design. Um, it got some, it, it got the, the style came from the, um, modern movement um it tends to be very simple and streamlined as you can see kind of has a mid-century modern feel to it again these styles are all very similar they kind of blend into one another so that is the modern and then we have here we have the contemporary um similar to modern but they're known for its very stark simplicity uh curves are sometimes a design element for these as well but they are very um, stark in its design. So that is the difference between the modern and the contemporary. Now you have modern, you have contemporary. Now we have traditional, classic, authentic. Sometimes they look a little outdated because when you see this, you know, it, I think this is a Chippendale type chair, um, very popular in the 18th century, 17th century. So they're very dated, but they do have a, a place in today's design. I probably wouldn't furnish the whole room like this, but one or two pieces in, the, in, in a, a room will actually add a little bit of class to it. So don't be afraid to use these chairs. The next one I want to talk about is what they call transitional. I use this a lot with staging because it kind of blends the tradition and the contemporary. Um, they bring elegance. It's more of a clean line. It emphasizes on comfort. And um, so it's really pretty. Sometimes they have nail heads. Sometimes they don't. But this is probably one of my favorite styles. Very easy to work with. The next one is actually... Uh, rustic, um, simple, laid back style. Um, they are basic rugged designs that are highlight natural beauty. They, some, they usually have some sort of natural element. In this case, they have the wood and they have the nail heads and they have leather. There's a lot of um, natural material to this particular style. Not always, but it tends to be a little bit more rustic in style. Now you have the rustic and the next one you have is con uh, country. Uh, definitely not my style, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. Sometimes called cottage, similar to rustic, but more of a country uh, twist. It was probably called shabby chic at one point too. It has a very um, country feel to it. So this is the um, country style here. Glam. 
adds a little sparkle to any room, elegance at its core. It creates um, a very big statement. Sometimes it has metallic finishes it like this one has. I don't know if you can see it, but it definitely does. This one is coastal, okay? It has an unpretentious look and it's combined with natural element. Most of the times you'll see fabric that has some seashells or some crabs in it because it has a very beachy feel to it. You find these a lot in beach houses. They're very comfortable. One of my favorite design as well is called the Mid-Century Modern. It's a classy, modern design with slightly more updated look. It's very popular because this style just goes with any design um, style you put into your space. It just works really, really well. It has more of a minimalistic look to it as well. The other one I want to talk about is the industrial. And when you look at it, it has a very industrial feel to it. It usually does have a combination of some wood and some metal, which is done here. And it just, you know, looks more industrial. Like, I don't know what else to say about it, but uh, that's the feel that it has, hence the name. But it is a very popular look. You can combine this with transitional. You can combine this with mid-century modern. Um, it works really well with modern and contemporary. So don't be afraid to mix match your styles because remember what I've always told you, color is always the key when you're doing the designs. Next one is called Scandinavian. Scandinavian. It's rooted in modern, as you can see, the modern design. It's focused on simplicity and functionality. Uh, usually, um, uh, usually the construction is from um, man, um, natural materials. I'm sorry, in this case, it's leather. Sometimes it tends to be linen. You have nice wood uh, legs there. It's very... Um, it's very similar to mid-century modern because they tend to have those kind of legs. But um, this one's called Scandinavian. And again, these styles, after a while, they kind of blend in one another and they kind of all look the similar. But they do they are a little bit different. The last one I want to talk about is tropical. Again, um, this is great for like the patio, outdoor furnitures and all like that. I mean, you could put it in your sunroom and you could put it definitely indoor. But the name pretty much says it all. It reflects the tropic. Um, it's laid back. It has beach vibes. So these are really great for if you're living by the beach and you have an outdoor patio or even a sunroom. So that's pretty much it with the chairs. There's, prop, there's a hell of a lot more information uh, to what I'm presenting you today, but I just wanted to give you the general idea of what it is, uh, what you need to look for when you're looking for chairs. Of course, you also have to know the construction of it. There's also the material of it and everything else. There's a lot to it, but at least this will give you a head start. And if you have any questions, feel free to post below and I'll, I'll, I'll answer them. Um, to the best of my knowledge. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you again all next week. Bye now.